We're going to go through a lot of different things today, um, probably exhaust you mentally. Um, that's our number one goal to players, so why not start with the parents too? Um, so bear with us on a few things. We've got some adjusting to do up here with technology and all that good stuff, and none of us are great at it, but we're going to make sure we try to do the best that we can. So um, towards the end, we'll ask anybody for any questions. Definitely uh, speak up and, and engage in it and uh, have an opportunity with a full board and uh, here today to uh, answer any questions that you might have. So I want to introduce Derek Adams, our Vice President, and uh, he'll open up a few things here. I just want to thank everybody for coming out. I appreciate the time and energy on a, on a Sunday. Uh, I know everybody's got tons of things to do, but we appreciate your time and energy coming out and seeing what we're about. Um, but again, like Casey said, we're just gonna we're just gonna flow through some of the things that uh, Team Focus is about. Uh, and one of the important things that we've always talked about is um, the element of faith uh, that we bring to our program. Um, and on that note, I, uh, we just want to start off with a prayer. And one of our players is going to uh, take charge of that today. Sam Segan, if you come up and give us our prayer. Dear God, thank you for having us all be here today and. During this season, please keep us all safe and um, help us learn and get better and help the words of our coaches touch our players' hearts and help us all know that this program is bigger than each and every one of us and just help us all have a good time. Amen. If I can have all the uh, board members and coaches come up here in front, I just want to do a quick introduction. Uh, if we can all stand up here. This is not the time to be shy. So. When this program uh, started four years ago, this will be our fourth year, when this program uh, came to fruition, I had an amazing group of people behind me, um, along with well, so many of these wonderful people were um, founders of this program and continue to give all their heart and soul into this program. Not a single one of these members collects a paycheck, um, and they give hours not only on the court, but after the practices are done, after the games are done. Um, they, they financially help support in a lot of different ways, uh, making sure every kid gets an opportunity and uh, we can try to produce the best program we possibly can. But throughout the year, we'll definitely make our mistakes. We'll have our ups and downs. But at the end of the day, every one of these individuals stand tall for every one of these kids in this program and fight for what they feel is right every day that we make decisions with the kids um, throughout the season. Um, but like I said, they're not perfect. Um, we're going to make our mistakes. Um, they have leadership behind them, and they're also leaders in our program too. So everything that they do, um, I support 100%, and I ask that every one of you in this room support. Just a quick introduction. Um, we have, like I said, Derek Adams, our Vice President. Ford McNaughton um, coaches the fifth grade and eighth grade, and he's also the um, program's attorney. Trevor Smith coaches uh, the seventh grade class and is the CFO of the program. Um, Jody Asijan has um, got kids on the seventh and freshman team. Um, she handles all of our uniforms and is known by a lot of players as the team, team mom for the program. Um, just handles just about anything we throw at her. So. Marla Carden is our newest uh, Chief Operating Officer at CO. Um, she does help with Cindy on the what this year's third and fifth grade teams. Um, you'll find Marla on the, especially on the road trips, driving all over God's creations to um, make sure us coaches and, and players have something to eat or drink, um, or just making sure the rules are being followed by us coaches and by us players. She does a great job of keeping us in line. Michelle Adams, uh, wife of Derek Adams. Not um, Casey, Derek. Not Casey, <laughs> <laughs> Derek. Um, she does a lot of different things, but she's also she's taking a full uh, run at the spirit wear and fundraising, and um, she's got a wonderful friend that gives us a lot of services on the website. Um, so Michelle does a lot of different things behind the scenes, and you'll see her a lot watching every game, every kid. Um, in our program. So, <laughs> Zeke Lockwood is our newest member of our coaching staff. Uh, he'll be helping this year with the seventh grade, uh, and eventually, I'm sure, will help in the, the high school side of things if Derek recruits him right. Uh, Tyler Morningside is so a board member, um, also coaches at Leo High School. 
part of the varsity staff there at Leo. Um, Tyler's been involved um, since day one, like everybody else in this, this group. Um, Tyler is a wonderful uh, shooting instructor and uh, does workouts and things, but um, he does a lot of things uh, that you'll get to hear him talk about today that he believes in and we believe in as a program. Cindy Kinchy is head coach of third grade class and fifth grade class. Um, she's also a uh, huge involvement in the, uh, the foundation that is named after her parents uh, and does a lot of great things with the foundation and we're continuing to uh, intertwine that with our program. Uh, she's also just finished uh, another senior class at the high school level. Um, she's seen those, those boys grow from basically nothing to young men that will all go off into college that we're super excited about. So, Cindy does a ton of stuff. She's, we call her our, our uh, sergeant of arms for, um, uh, for coaches. She kind of kind of guides us in that intensity level and keeps the, the uh, keeps us all on our toes. So, um, but she's also a board member and, and allows uh, a lot of great input to the board. Uh, Mark, um, Scooby? Oh yeah. <laughs> Coach Boy said, Scooby. what is it? Scooby. Scooby. Well, we call him Scooby. So. <laughs> Mark helps Cindy with third and fifth, and you'll see him a lot at those practices. So um, we appreciate everything Mark does. And uh, this is his second year, I believe. Um, so someday we might sneak him into a head coaching role because I think he's good enough for that. But just throwing that plug in there. <laughs> <laughs> then we have. D. Shoemaker, uh, that is Marla's mother, who drives from South Bend area? Chesterton. Chesterton to uh, do whatever is needed from her. Uh, she handles a lot of our um, administrative stuff behind the scenes, so she handles paperwork and, and uh, registering us for uh, events and different things, so we appreciate her effort, and she does it, you know, two and a half hours away. Is that right? Three hours? Two hours. Two hours with time change, all that good stuff. So. Yeah, time change. <laughs> <laughs> so then we have Dan Pontius. Uh, Dan's got the girls' uh, seventh grade team. It's also uh, Coach Pontius's birthday today. So, Happy Happy birthday. Birthday. <laughs> <laughs> so we're super excited. Dan's taking a strong effort on, on growing the girls' side, and um, he's got a great group of girls this year with high energy, great heart. Um, then we went through tryouts, gave me goosebumps and energy, so we're super excited to see what Dan starts providing us on the girls' side. And, um, so look for Dan in the, out in the court with the girls and that high energy group, so it'll be fun to watch this year. Then we have uh, Andrea Myers. Myers. <laughs> yeah, sure that right now. Andrea's helping coach Dan by us with the girls, so we're super excited to have her in the youth side of, of the program. So Then we have Mark Schroeder. Um, he's a board member, also has a, a child in the program on the freshman level. So uh, so this is, Mark handles the events, anything that I throw at him from if we're going to run our own tournament, we're going to run our own leagues, um, if I just need someone to yell at, Mark's there to, to take that on. So um, he's uh, highly involved in the program. And so a lot of these wonderful individuals make this program along with these players. Um, like. Sam said it's, it's bigger than all of us. Um, one of our mottos is, let's be part of something bigger than ourselves. And, and it's truly that. Um, everything that we do day in and day out is with a lot of heart and, and an energy um, with all these individuals up here. So I'd just like to give them a round of applause. And you'll hear a different one from the <laughs> Coach Kim Lawrence is also here, which is our most mental coach that we have, um, and he'll speak here in a little bit, but you'll see him out and about um, throughout the season. He's got a busy year this year with high school basketball, finishing up his golf season, tennis season, whatever else you're doing with sports around the city. So um, so my next uh, my next person to uh, speak to you all is from Matt Anthony's Children's Hope House. We need to get Haley out of here. She's got some other things that she has to get accomplished today. So. We're going to jump right into the Kids Helping Kids basketball tournament that we're very passionate about and something that we're going to take it strong. We did a great job last year raising money. Uh, we want to be better this year raising money for this great cause. Um, so Haley will be just giving you a, a breakdown of what Children's Hope is all about and the Kids Helping Kids basketball tournament.
Hi everyone, my name is Haley Workman. I'm with Maddie Anthony's Children's Hope House. I'm the development specialist there. So I'm here to talk to you guys about the Hope House, about our Kids Helping Kids basketball tournament in February, and what Team Focus does for our families. So I have a short video that I'm going to have you guys watch. It just shows you about the house, um, just shows some pictures and things like that. <laughs> 